Hi friends. Welcome back to our table. Friends, I, I don't know what to tell y'all. The incompetence, the stupidity, the ignorance. You have Rand Paul, who is a doctor, being tested for the virus, doesn't tell anyone and just goes ahead and does, doesn't quarantine himself or anything. I, I know this is going to sound like a stupid question, but I can't help it. Um... When Republican is stepped next to their name, do they all common sense just go out the window or what? <laughs> We're worried about businesses and the market. Look, you're worried about the businesses. You just gave them a trillion dollar tax cut. It's not our fault that these businesses bought back their own stock instead of doing what they were supposed to do. Here's an idea. If the businesses need money, sell the stock you bought back. And then this $600 Basically, for people making 40000 and under? What? How is that going to help? Uh, who has a house payment of $600? Who has rent anymore for $600? It's like they're not in touch with reality. It's like Trump's reality show of whatever he wants to make it has just gone out and we have to live in reality. <laughs> speechless. Because this makes no sense. And Mitch McConnell, shut up. I am sick of hearing you and Trump Blaming the Democrats. Remember, this whole thing was a hoax in the first place. It was the Democrats creating this hoax. Just shut up and do your job for the friggin' people. I come on here. I try to keep y'all positive. I try to tell y'all, stay positive. He's making my job harder now. Don't approach my territory. (laughs) But he is. So just shut up. Stay positive, friends. (laughs) We have to stay positive. Oh my God. The incompetence. The ill-mannered people up there. I can see why a lot of Republicans are going to lose their seat. Yeah, yeah, I get it. (laughs) I didn't need to get to this point to get it. I've gotten to it a long time ago, but oh my God. Do do they even realize how bad they look? Probably not. But we know how bad they look. Okay, so... (laughs) What I want to try to do is keep all of y'all's hopes up. Listen, I get mad and I get frustrated, but I'm never without hope. And I don't want you to be either. Yes, we can get mad and frustrated because this is stupid. I mean, (laughs) and you can't work with stupid. But anyway, we're going to keep our hopes up regardless. Let's see. Oh, please, Lord. 
are the lower income people going to get help? Now, I don't, I just don't get it. I mean, it's about as stupid as the company. Look, if you make 120, 50,000 a year, you probably really don't need it. You know, 200,000, you should, you should have money saved up and put back, right? <laughs> Here's the problem. What I'm trying to say is they shouldn't be living paycheck to paycheck. However, the people 40,000 and under, that's exactly what they do. Paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> okay, so God. are the lower income people going to get any relief in any help? Are the lower income people going to get any relief in any help? Oh, please. Okay, and this is a widower. And this is usually a loss <laughs> or having to deal with something and walk away. To me, it's both. The lower income people are losing and they're just going to have to deal with it and walk away because they just don't get it. Whatever ends up going through is not gonna be enough again they're still trying to get away with stuff they're still trying to get away with we're in trouble here like I said before if they don't do it right we're going to end up with a little bit of money. This is like pocket change. Do you see that? Just the change that's fallen out of the purse. <laughs> and of course, this is the lover card. This is the person who promises you everything and delivers on nothing. We know who these are. <laughs> They are going to go, but the struggle and what it cost us by the time we're able to get rid of them is totally ridiculous. I see why the Republicans will lose the Senate. Oh, God Almighty. I mean, you know, this is not that hard. <laughs> It's like they really just don't care. How can that be? How can you not care about people that are living paycheck to paycheck and have no paycheck? Please. Don't give any more money to the companies. Yes, I get it. The companies are losing money because they have to shut down. They have stock. Sell your stock and get money that you need for your company. Why does the government and the people need to keep giving them money when they never learn a friggin' thing? And in the meantime, the poor people are just literally... <laughs> Lounging for pocket change.
why are they so worried about giving companies money? Why are they so worried about giving companies money? Why are they so worried about giving companies money? So this is visit. People lobbying for the companies. See, we poor people don't have people lobbying for us. We can't afford to pay people to lobby for us. People lobbying for them. There's a misfortune going on called a virus. And, and anytime something goes wrong, well, the companies need money. It's just another opportunity to get more money. Like I said, sell your freaking stock. But, oh, I think it's a loss all the way around. That's what I'm going to tell you. It's a loss all the way around. Judge. I don't even know what this is, but stuff they're trying, something they're trying to pass to get past a judge. Message. You know, here's the thing. Somehow we need to get the message to them. And with this virus, I don't know how we do that. Because it's not like you can get out and pick it with people. Because you're supposed to have the distance. So even that has created a problem. <sighs> Dear Lord. When will this nightmare end? And I don't care which nightmare because we're, it, it's all combined. And it, all these nightmares in one big nightmare. <laughs> when will it end? I can't ask when will it end. It's frustrating, friends. I feel your pain. I do. I understand. I don't know how we get them. We don't. That's why they get voted out. Somehow, we just have to manage to hang on long enough to get them out. What advice can you give me? Can I give the people? What advice can I give the people? Please. What advice? Okay, this is kind of interesting. House. Try to stay home. Also, watch your money. Remember, the house card, I call it the home card because to me, it's everything. It's your life, your family, your friends, your money, your work, your income. It's everything. So be very careful with it. Visit. Okay, so th the visit card can mean you're going to visit someone, but it can also be about communication. So in this case, since we don't need to be visiting people, it's probably more about communication. You know, there's other ways to communicate and talk to people without visiting them. 
a merriment. Try, don't let anybody steal your joy. You've got to try and stay joyful. I'm, I know it's hard, y'all. I, God, I know. I know. But you have to keep your joy because that's what keeps the good stuff in your body fighting everything until we get them out. Eventually, we're going to get people in there who understand Now the judge again. See, there's some... Oh, judgment is coming for Trump, his administration, and the Republicans. They don't, they don't have a hope. They're gone. Gone. Yeah. Well, good. And we just need to hang in there for that. Better times are coming, friends. Better times are coming, but we're going to have to make um, exceptions and choices. And please don't let them steal your joy. Listen to me. Please don't let them steal your joy. Your joy keeps you happy and healthy. And there is always something to be joyful about. Like I have y'all. <laughs> and I'm very happy about that. And I, things could be worse, but I, I don't want you to think of it that way because I would just prefer you find the positive things and smile and be joyful about that. And let's get through this situation. And I don't know what else to tell y'all. Except I love you. Okay? Until the next time, friends. Thanks. Be safe.